Welcome to Morning Drawfee, where we take your dumb suggestions and make even dumber drawings. I'm Caldwell. I'm Nathan. Guys, oof. There's a chill in the air. Uh, the, the hearth is lit. Um, because in, in Drawfee Town, USA, we're having ourselves a little snow day. It's snow time. It's, it's, there's no, no time like snow time. No time I have, like snow time. I have always said. Uh, <laughs> and it's true. So... I'm over in in sunny LA, so my my snow day is more of a uh, a state of mind, if you will. Yeah. But uh, Nathan, you're in the in the thick of it, I guess. It's pretty thick out here. Mm-hmm. Um, I've just been. How thick is the snow? You got like a, is it is it a real thick uh thick powder? We got a powder situation, or you got more of a um a slush? What's going on? Oh man, I have not been outside today. <laughs> I, uh, it was it was pretty powdery. Yesterday, yeah, I was sort of doing the rounds because mm-hmm. I I live in a neighborhood with many uh with many friends. Oh, so I was trying to see all of them. They're all in... doing various snow activities. You live in uh in, in you live over in many friends. I live in many friendsville. Oh wow, in Brooklyn. That sounds like a uh, like a knockoff Sesame Street show. Yeah. Welcome many, to m- many, many friends. Mm-hmm. But can you please give me directions to many friendsville? My phone's not working properly, and I've got a <laughs> dinner date. <laughs> um. So yeah, you you may notice uh, it, my audio is a little rough. Not great. A little, little rough around the edges. Uh huh. Um, because I'm just using my built-in computer home mic because I I didn't uh, I didn't make it into the office and didn't have enough. Uh, for forethought, for planning to mm-hmm. uh, bring the mic home with me. But that's okay because uh, we're embracing it. We're uh, embracing we're, we've, it. We've got our our cameras turned on so you guys can see us in our in our native environs. Um, and we're gonna do just this like is an impromptu. Sick, sick room, guys. Sick, Look, sick room dude. There's, there's a bed. I, uh, you didn't there's... even make your bed for our guests. That's so. That's uh, typical, man. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here, let me. I, just... uh, well, look at all those stains. That's foul, dude. It's just like I can. <laughs> There's just a plate over there. There's just some loose spaghetti on that bed. <laughs> it's um, been. It's bed getty. <laughs> you know, every winter. When... Every winter, you make some spaghetti. You put uh-huh. it in bed. Spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! I uh, my mom loves to make a spaghetti. And I, I love it every year when it comes around. Uh, me and all my brothers and sisters, we hop in that bed and we enjoy some spaghetti. Uh, and then we throw the bed away. <laughs> and then we get a new bed. And then we get a new bed because we ruined that one. It's covered in vermin. Hey, Carl, what are we drawing today? We are doing an impromptu uh, drawfee blitz, a little uh, little impromptu drink and drawfee. Uh, and I am drawing uh, I, my first I've suggestion. Been drinking. Oh yeah, and I just started. Uh, in, in the spirit of, of a snow day, I, I've started drinking a nice IPA, a, a, mm. an ale to warm my my wintry heart. Uh, I'm drawing John Silver's suggestion of a banana's final form. Oh. So, to me, a banana is uh, like it's great. I love a banana, but the problem is we're big pro banana. Bana- we're banana fans. We're yeah, bafanas for sure. Bafanas here on Drawfee. But the thing, the problem with a banana is you're like, when you buy like a bundle of bananas, they're mm-hmm. like for sure going bad, because uh, like you're yeah. you're gonna eat like one of those bananas. It's like when you buy like a bag of baby carrots, and you're like, yum, a healthy snack for me. Uh, but what it ends up being is like, I'm gonna eat five carrots, and then they're all gonna get really soggy and and yeah. lose Just their color. A- a, be- a bag of, of pale, wet, orange... Oh, boy. Soggy mush. fingers. Mm. Soggy... Mm, soggy garden fingers. My favorite snack. <laughs> soggy garbage fingers. <laughs> um, so, yeah. In most cases, a banana's final form is yeah. just uh, brown and gross in a garbage. No, but what I've done here is I've created the ultimate banana. Uh, yeah. The multi... It's a, it's a multi-banana. It, it's, um, it seems to defy logic almost. yeah you open it and it Defies kind of like physics yeah it's like cartoon rules you open it it's like a jetson's briefcase it just bananas just start infinitely popping out of it um this is its final form is just the the banana the the multi-bundle the banundle if you will uh which is just a <laughs> a bundle of bananas that 
And then you kind of, you get one and you just eat as many as you want. And then you just like, you toss it. But the thing is, uh, it doesn't, you toss it, but that, that's fine. Because what happens is it just kind of scurries away. It just, it, <laughs> because there's a cool, a cool flip. Yeah. Oh, is that a face? Yeah. They're all, they're all sentient too. Oh, okay. It's, it's like, um, oh, they look so happy. Uh huh. You know that, uh, you know that oh. Pokemon who's like an egg attached to a tree or a bunch of eggs on a tree? It's well, kind of like that. One, it's it's a bunch of eggs, and then it evolves into like mm-hmm. a pineapple tree. Yeah, and sort I, of the egg, know. the eggs become more of an afterthought. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's what I, I'm doing here. <laughs> that one looks concerned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, th- that some of them are aware. I think like self awareness sets in at around um, hour f- thirteen or fourteen. Uh, so, this one's just got one eye. It's a minion. <laughs> <laughs> Can't there draw he a is. banana without making a minions reference. <laughs> they took over. Um, so yeah, let me just draw one more face here. This one's yeah. happy. It's it's got a little, got a little underbite. Little too, overbite. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I think that maybe I, I'm trying to. I need like some other. So the, the bananas are poking out. I'm gonna I'm gonna draw a, a little shading on here because uh, I like this weird banana bundle. So this is a banana's final form. You get one of yeah. these. Um, and you kind of have to, you kind of have to eat them. And then like, if you, if you have any left over, you just plant them and then they, they grow, they grow anew. Cause yeah. Cause once you eat one of them, you've mm-hmm. like eaten it in front of all of his friends. So exactly. it, it would be cruel to not eat the rest of them. Exactly. You start like, eating it. Make them live with what, what you've done. I think what the, but the, the benefit here is it like, it's kind of like you eat one and all the other ones are like, Ooh, eat me next. Eat me next. They, they love it. They want to be eaten. Eat me. Oh, okay. Eat me. Uh, so you kind of have to They're bury them. They're cheering you on. I, I have always wanted mm-hmm. food that, like, cheered me on mm-hmm. for eating it. Like, Rice Krispies is about as close as you can get to, like, <laughs> food that is is trying to communicate with you. Rice Krispies, yeah. Like, you start eating that, uh, and it's like... They're like starting up like a uh, like a Matrix 2 Blood Rave type deal. Or oh, like Blade sure. 2 Blood Rave. A, yeah, a rave of some sort where they're like so pumped to be destroyed. Yeah. They've got like an Armageddon cult going on. It's an Armageddon cult in every bowl. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Chomp me, daddy. That's what he said. No, saying. chomp me, daddy. <laughs> uh, that that's is, what this one is that's saying. Coincident- that's the name of uh, my band's first album. No, chomp me, daddy. No, chomp me, daddy. Noam Chomsky, daddy. Gnome, gnomes Chomsky's daddy. This one is like this one is uh, identified you as its father. So like, this is a bit of a complex treat. But uh, again, just once you're done, just throw Not it in. Not everyone's a... ready for bananas final form. Exactly. Eat. I personally am not. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, it also has has legs. Aw. Yeah. Oh, just some little banana legs. Yeah. So he's got like one leg right here, and then another leg. I guess like. No, yeah, it would be kind of like there we go, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, he's just he's just doing like a fun little step. Yep, yep. He's like he's, he's like he's singing like a little song. He's like don't don't eat me, like eat me please. Don't eat me, don't chop me, chop me, daddy. I'm a bunch of bananas with faces. That's my favorite part about uh, the the banundle, which is what this is called, by the way. <laughs> is that <laughs> is that um, some of them want you to eat it and the others don't so it's kind of like there's uh it's like a uh a devil and angel type deal where oh, you kind of have okay. to confront them it's a very it's a complex carb and by that i mean that it's like you're gonna have to deal with the com- a complex morality issue every time you bite into one it's a very philosophical mm-hmm. treat to uh, be sure i feel like i feel like these should be little arms actually now that i'm redrawing it yeah so, mm-hmm. so he, he should be kind of like be like, oh no, please, hooray! Uh, so it kind of goes like that, and then this one's like over here. <laughs> or no, it would be like <laughs> I'm trying to think how this would work. Give me a second. Apologies. Okay. So Nathan, uh, what have you done anything with your snow day? Uh, well, I made stew yesterday, you so keep... today has been a day for eating the stew. Uh huh. And drinking the wine that I did not use in the stew. You put wine in the stew? Yeah, it's beef stew. You used some red wine in there. Oh, I guess that's true. For like a little glaze or something, yeah. So he's clapping is what's happening here. Aw. Yeah, he's like clap, clap, clap. 
He's clapping Laugh. for the stew. <laughs> Put me in the stew, please, Daddy. It's stew and wine mm-hmm. all day in mm-hmm. in Nathan's home on snow <laughs> on snow times. Uh, I changed my mind. He's not protesting. They're all on board with this idea. They all want you to chomp them. Yeah, the 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 issue is who to chop first. Yeah, because they get they get more and more excited the mm-hmm. more you chop. Yeah, except I like if you yeah. want to feel if you want to feel like a god. This is the this is the snack for you. <laughs> except this guy's like, wait, I don't know, guys. So yeah, I I like I'm I'm keeping that aspect. I'm keeping the morality aspect of it, but most of them. It's like it's like a twelve angry men. It's like a twelve angry bananas type situation. Yeah, where like you got to eat them all before one banana convinces the other ones that, that this is not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah, now there, that I've made it, twelve... it's it's like a it's a fun mini game. Yeah, now you have that I figure out which banana is the reasonable one and uh-huh. eat him first. Oh, exactly. Uh, or like the whole thing will go bad. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now instead of turning brown, mm-hmm. they just they just get real sad. Yeah, they get they get they become self aware, and that ruins the flavor. I like the idea. Of, yeah, it's a snack that it's the snack that becomes self aware. Bonundles. <laughs> it's a it's a working uh working jingle. I would say it's perfect. <laughs> oh no! What did you do? I just dropped my phone on the floor. <laughs> It's I set snack. it on silent. How about this? How about this? It, it got what? <laughs> it's the snack you can share and it's self-aware. Bonundles. How about that? I think that's pretty good. <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> um, do you want to draw something? I would love to draw something. Okay, cool. <laughs> good luck topping my bonundles, though. All right, is that saved? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it should be saved. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna. Can you screen share me, my my man? Yeah, yeah. My good friend. Here, here comes. All right. Um. I, I just realized I don't know how much of the camera is catching my actual face because I've, I've I've got this angled in a weird way, so uh, I guess apologies if if you can't actually see me. Here we go. There I am. Hi. Hello. Uh, they can they can always see your chin at least. <laughs> exactly. All right, I'm going to turn this this way so I can get in frame a little more. Uh, All right. There we go. Ah ah ah. There I am. Hi, oh. how's it going, guys? Okay, Nate, what you drawing for me today? Oh, I am drawing. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I am drawing Jen Jerkoff's suggestion. Draw super realistic tree dudes, please. Ah, uh, General Jerkoff, the uh, the cousin of Admiral Masturbator, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, so realistic trees. Realistic trees. Just a re- one realistic tree, mm-hmm. please. Please. Realistic trees, please. A super realistic tree. Okay, so maybe this is like a, a an impromptu uh, draw class going down right here. Yeah. Have we did we do trees? We did do trees. Class? Okay. But this is a advanced class. So you just wanna you just wanna keep that 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 uh that whole fractal yeah uh theme going. It's, it's just, like what? It's just branches. It's just branches coming off of a, a center, and then they're, they just branch off. They just they're keep they're like off. they're like wooden lightning. Uh, just ask anyone. Tell you know next time you see a tree. If you see like, a tree and it doesn't look like wooden lightning, uh-huh. it's not a real tree. Run, that's a fake tree. Uh, who knows what that tree has in in mind has in store for you? Yeah, uh, this is great. Yeah, so it is really you are basically just drawing inverted lightning, but instead of that lightning striking the earth, it's um. It's just it's it's sprouting beautiful foliage. It's it's just uh, yeah. Here we got we got just like a nice deciduous. Uh... It really is. I mean, it's I've seen this these comparisons and like there's a reason they exist, but it really does just look kind of like a a cloud uh, with lightning coming out of it. It it it's the here's it, it's just ground clouds. Trees uh-huh. are just ground clouds. Trees are ground clouds. Or yeah, uh, they they're clouds that turn green. They defected from the mm-hmm. cloud society. Yeah, in the sky. It's my favorite creation myth. Um, and um, I'm just gonna make this like kind of a. Ooh, it's knobbly. It's it's a knobbly tree because it's mm-hmm. realistic. You Dang. know, I'm not I'm not trying to create any unrealistic standards for tree beauty. Kudos on that knobble, dude. Thanks, man. You just busted out that knobble. Just like, busted out that knobble. Uh, so yeah, I let's get more into this myth. I like this a lot. So trees are 
They're, they were once clouds. And like still to this day, most people think that um, trees grow from seeds. Not true. Uh, it's, no, that, that's that's classic tree propaganda. That's classic misinterpret. That's yeah, uh, miss. That's just like a scientific uh, misdirect, I guess, is what it would be. That's like the people that want you to believe that global warming isn't real. Uh, mm-hmm. They're like, oh, global warming isn't real. What? It's it's so cold right now. How could global warming exist? Um, trees don't. Trees do come from seeds. Uh, if global warming is real, it's the same real, people. It's the whole. It's yeah. the whole. Yeah. If trees didn't come from seeds. Uh, then, hmm, explain, <laughs> sorry, explain global warming. That's how they get you. Exactly. Uh, don't, yeah, this is a good, if we're, if we're, if we are offering some, some drawing advice, I like the, the darker parts will always be kind of at the bottom, like near where the branches are. Uh, well, you this wanna, is like, just, this is just shading. This is yeah, just yeah. Some shading. The, mm-hmm. the, the sun usually is above, unless this is the world tree uh Yggdrasil. Sure. Is it the world tree Yggdrasil? I have no idea. It's it's a sill. <laughs> um this is a great tree. Aldrasil? I would I do Dressil? Mm-hmm. Man, that does seem like a fun idea though. It it seems like something that you would see in uh in like a weird seventies altern alternate comic or something like that. Or like something that uh that Morpheus, the the comic artist Morpheus would draw would just be like a bunch of like floating green clouds and they would strike brown lightning and then turn into a tree. That seems like some cool heavy metal nonsense. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just adding a, a fur tree to, oh, this is, for contrast. Is, oh, is this a fur in, is this a fur friend? Yeah, this is a fur friend. Mm-hmm. I am um, I I've never told you this Nathan, but I'm actually a furry. Uh, I, a furry, a tree. Furry? Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I cover myself in in needles, and I uh, I attend conventions with fellow with fellow furries. Uh, you know, there's some uh, some of my my friends are uh, deciduous. Uh, there's some uh, coniferous ones, but we all it's great. You know, sometimes we will all get together in a hotel room and uh and just and cross pollinate each other. Um, it's 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 a real good time. It's it, it gets a lot. Of, it gets a bad rap, honestly. Um, I think mostly because of the amount of uh, the medical bills that uh, yeah. result uh, from all the the pine cones that get, you know, misplaced. I guess would be the way to put it. But it's it's harmless fun. Oh, I'm glad you remembered the face. Uh, most yeah. people, when they draw trees, forget the face. They forget the the realistic tree face. Mm-hmm. Most people aren't paying attention uh, to the tree face because they're, are... they're too busy looking at the at the leaves. <laughs> Some people see the forest for the trees. I see the forest and go, oh my God, all of those trees have faces. What is this forest? This is terrifying. Get me out of here. But then I turn back and the trees have already engulfed me. Uh, I don't know how it happened, but it did. And uh, before I know what's going on, I'm just I'm just getting full. I'm just getting my mouth full of seeds. And that's how trees are made. <laughs> yeah. They're human sacrifice. <laughs> There's a, a lot of a lot of great tree myths out there. Um, and you know what? Honestly, none of our presidential candidates can tell us how trees were actually made. And I ben think Carson that's... has my favorite theories, though. Yeah, right. yeah. I think does he subscribe to um that that trees are just brown lightning? Um I I hope so. Uh-huh. Uh I've heard I've you know I, I've also heard the the popular theory that trees are just grass what got to uppity yeah they're just mm-hmm. tall grass they're just grass that went like that went wild um and that we should not we shouldn't be allowing it it's arrogant honestly um and and i i think that we need to put a stop to that and i don't th- i don't understand why uh miss clinton or mr sanders or any of the other candidates aren't addressing the fact that we have you know just these just giant overgrown uh grass titans growing in our midst and we're just allowing that to happen for real though trees are fucked up though uh like they're essentially just these big wooden hands that are reaching ever skyward uh trying to crush the sun and i think that's terrifying honestly yeah (laughs) Um, i just realized what you're drawing i like these we're, we're doing some some serious little panels here i like this yeah, so this is this is a, a the the one on the left is the most realistic because he's just being realistic about his finances. Uh huh. The other tree um, is like, come on, man. The other tree is just like, you know, he just wants to go on the ski trip because it's like a tradition. But like sometimes you can't 
you got to think about you. You got to think about the future, not just the present, you know? No, no, come on. Tulip, maple, come on. And he's just on. like, look, this, this year has been hard on me. No, dude, my dad's, my dad's got this awesome ski lodge. Um, I should clarify, my dad is a ski lodge. My dad got cut down and turned into a ski lodge. <laughs> but it's so sick. It's a sick ski lodge, dude. It's, it's really dope. We should go there. We um, should go. It's like, no, I I understand. I see what you're saying. I just, I can't. I don't know. I just like. It's not. I went to a lot not, of weddings this year and my finances are in a bad state. You know, just, I'm just, just trying to, you know, I just want to. Things are kind of like tenuous at my job right now. So <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm just trying to not stretch myself too thin. I just don't want to get, get it. I don't want to get chopped down, you know, I don't want to get, I'm on the chopping block at work. <laughs> this is great. Uh, do we want to do one more? Uh, yeah. Did you, uh, uh my computer, my home computer is a little slower. This turned out my great work though. Computer. So, um, I, I feel like, I think, I think this is about as much as I can do. Well, honestly, I feel, um, I feel intimidated by how good this drawing is. <laughs> Um, <laughs> All right. Well, I saved it, so you can. That's where you can take the reins back whenever. Okay. Um, hmm. Oh, oh, yeah. Let me. I, I gotta real quick close this down. Okay, I'm gonna pour it. myself some more of that vino. Oh, nice. I mm. hope everyone is enjoying these. Uh, this was a nice eight dollar bottle. Ah. Oh, I hope everyone's enjoying these tasty beer burps. I'm just like directing right into the microphone. Yeah, yeah. Eight dollars. What kind of what kind of vino you working with over there? That is a that is a, a Syrah. Mm. It's Ryun. Is it product placement right here? With some of your finest Syrah, Syrah. Syrah. Ryun. Um, so I'm gonna draw a Sam Flory suggestion of a frog ensemble. Oh, that's perfect. That's I, a perfect way to end a snow day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to me, are you a frog your ensemble? Yeah. Uh, I thought it was. Oh, I'm not. Let me let me do that real quick. Apologies. I'd love to see what you're drawing. Mm -hmm. I could also just guess, <laughs> just based <laughs> on what you're saying. Yeah, I, I just, that's a fun, that's like not a bad uh, game idea, actually. It's just, we just, we, we draw draw things and the other person can't see it. And then they, they guess what they think it's going to be. <laughs> that's I, fun. I, I think there's something to that. Um, but this well, is. Draw, so the audience, the audience knows something that yeah. we don't. Uh-huh, exactly. Like our um, uh, our blind uh, exquisite corpses. Uh -huh. That's one where the audience gets to see before we do. Now, Nathan, I've I've taken a challenge by myself because I'm actually not very good at drawing frogs. You you know what? You, Caldwell Tanner is someone who for sure knows what frogs look like. <laughs> <laughs> if that's what it says in my Twitter bio. Just uh, just watch over the garden wall. They got some real good frog designs in that. It's true, like too good almost. Yeah, um, man. I'm gonna. He's got some lips. Oh yeah. There you go. Um yeah, let me give him those big eyes. Yeah, okay. Oh this is, yeah. This is coming along. Yeah, <laughs> that's a frog. That's a frog. So you gotta sure. draw a whole ensemble of these frogs. Well, though. yeah, but like when I Are you gonna do some copy paste? When I think of a frog ensemble, I think okay. like why have they why have they assembled? Why have and they like, assembled? But <laughs> beyond assembling, they've ensembled. Yes. Which is like uh, an ensemble is essentially like a highly coordinated uh, assembly. You know what I'm well, saying? Going going back to final forms, mm -hmm. I feel like an ensemble is the final form of an of an assemble. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Very very true. So I, I was thinking to myself, like, what purpose has led these frogs to assemble? Uh, and like, guess what? It's uh, coming coming to theaters this June. It's frogs frogs frog jobs. These frogs. Frog jobs. Frog jobs got a job. It's a bunch of frogs. They're in a suit. Frog jobs. They're trying to pretend to be one person. Yep. Uh, and it's like, it's like an Octodad situation. It's like the less successful version of Octodad. Okay. <laughs> it's we right. we at Drawfee mm -hmm. pride ourselves on creating less successful versions of somewhat mm -hmm. successful IPs. Exactly. So again. If this is if if Octodad is the successful version of this, I guess this would be like Frog Uncle, Frunkle, <laughs> Frunkle. <laughs> yeah, I think you got it. I think we're on, I think we're on to my, something. Hey, uh, this is my family. Uh, mm. My aunt Shirley, uh, my my uncle Harold, uh, and this is my Frunkle. <laughs> he's just a bunch of frogs. Hey. <laughs> he's, he's just he's just somewhere between ten and twenty frogs. <laughs> 
It's hard to keep track. Hey, hey, Damien, <laughs> is your uncle several frogs? <laughs> no. What do you? What? Yeah. Don't shame me. <laughs> I I have a frunkle, okay. <laughs> Um, I just, before we go over, I just wanted to let you know, um, you've met most of my family, but my frunkle, um, <laughs> my frunkle Patrick will be there. My frunkle Patrick will be there. Just, he's going to be eating flies. Is that like a frugal uncle? I wish it were. I mean, I guess I, ta- he I, is pretty, he is pretty frugal, I guess. Can I tell you how much I like this, the second frog face you've drawn? Uh-huh. The one on the right there. It's just like sort one? of, sort yeah. of giving it, yeah. <laughs> I drew like a slightly realistic one, and then I just went instantly into cartoon territory, which yeah. is where I should have gone from the beginning, honestly. Oh, I don't know which one I like best. The, that's that's the hard thing about having a frunkle is it's hard to pick uh-huh. which frog of your frunkle. Yeah, is your favorite? Well, because fav- it's like mm-hmm. your fave frunkle frog. Exactly. Because <laughs> like some of them are like this one's kind of facing off to the side. Actually, this some one of them is going to be like kind of aloof and yeah. too cool, and some this... of them are just <laughs> the, the one in the middle right now. It's just, it's just... This one's in the Ooh. process of catching a, a fly. Oh, I like that. Uh huh. This is an active. Yeah, I mean, active this frog right there. This is uh, his like kind of. Everyone loves it when Frunkle Patrick does this at the table. It's like, oh, we got one! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little drinking game going. Uh-huh. See how many fries can. Fries, flies, good Uncle Patrick. <laughs> Snag. Yeah. Um, hey, everyone's got that one uncle who is secretly... You know what? Everyone's got that one uncle who's secretly just a pile of frogs, Nathan. <laughs> Coming to theaters. <laughs> it's Frog Uncle. Frog um, Uncle. Eddie Murphy plays every frog. <laughs> Time flies when you're eating flies. <laughs> How's my Murphy? <laughs> hey Nathan, how's my Murphy? Yeah. Um, could you rate my? Could you just be a buddy and rate my Murphy? <laughs> it's like rate my professor. Uh huh. <laughs> just, it's just people who do Eddie Murphy impressions. Uh huh. Get, uh, what's your? Do you have an account on Rate My Murphy? It's the yeah, number one site my, for people. Mine who is do. from uh the our our one hundred drawing live stream when I did Donkey. Oh yeah. That's why I was I was doing Donkey too. Um, yeah, I, I was doing Donkey from uh, from Nutty Professor the Clumps when Donkey shows up. When Donkey shows up mm-hmm. and is like, is anyone still watching this movie? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's me. I'm here. Hey, Are I'm you here watching too. this? Can I turn this off? Is that okay? <laughs> he switches the channel. He just puts on chips. He just puts on Norbit. <laughs> All right, that's enough frogs coming out the top, I think, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to do one leg, though. That's good. Uh-huh. So it's just like the gig is fully up. It's like you're clearly – that's clearly a frog's leg. I feel like um, going back to Norbit. Yeah. Please. I feel like that was a turning point in my life because, like, up until that point, there were movies that, like, I was like, I don't think I want to see that, but it might be good. Yeah. Well, And then, like, when Norbit came out, it was like – I finally had enough confidence in myself. I was like, I don't think I ever need to see that. So that was like kind of the, I, I think that's like a, a specifically like a going from uh teen to like uh early young adult type Opi- thing. Opinionated teen. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but like, there's just, like, I was just like, I think, you know what? I think I got this, but I, I don't agree. think I will have any regrets not seeing this one. And so far, no regrets on having never seen Norbit. <laughs> Don't lie to me. I know you wake up in a cold sweat, screaming Norbit. <laughs> yeah, but Norbit! That's, that's for a completely different reason. Right. That's the, those are the the Norb terrors that you have. Norbit would be a good frog name. That's it's true. Almost, it's almost Ribbit. Yeah, it's like uh, for a frog that maybe never ribbits. Yeah, he, he no ribbits. Uh-huh. So they call him Norbit. <laughs> <laughs> and then they, short, um, they, they call him Norbit, and uh-huh. they shorten it to Norbit. Exactly. That's why the, the movie is called <laughs> that. His hands made of legs. Yeah. <laughs> they call the movie. He tries to pick something up, and <laughs> it's just a bunch of different frogs' legs smacking together. Just like, oh, uh, allow me. And uh-huh. he tries to get the door for someone, and it just. 
This is the sequel. This was originally. Oh, this is so embarrassing. This Hold is originally on. what uh, Uncle Buck was supposed to be about. It was originally called Frunkle Buck. <laughs> And it was about a man who was several frogs, and and he had to escape from uh, the the French the Cajun chef that was trying to cook him alive. Uh, but he he managed to teach some pretty good lessons along the way. I, this is a good snow I day. Feel like I'm learning so much already. Uh huh. Um, I feel like I'm trying to figure out the right angle for this last one. Maybe just like kind of like where there we go. There you go. Yeah. It's like almost a hand. It's almost a hand. It's almost a hand. It's hey, so give, close. Give him almost a hand, guys. <laughs> he did real good. <laughs> he did almost real good. I love, um, I feel like, I talked about this on, on the Draga that we that we did, that will be released on uh, coming this Wednesday. Ooh. Um, or maybe, maybe it was some other time that I said this. Might have, at one point on the show, I mentioned uh, Chicken Boo from Animaniacs. Do you remember Chicken Boo? Uh, I'm getting I'm getting some silence over there. Chicken Boo. Chicken Boo was a was like a little uh, short because you know Animaniacs was kind of like a variety show. Yeah, Animaniacs was great. Uh, it, chicken Boo was a short that they did where it was just a giant chicken that always dressed up like a man, uh, and that it was always the same joke. It was always just that. It was a giant chicken dressed like a man, and everyone thought that he was a genius, except for one person who knew that it was clearly... Uh, it was like a Mich- Michigan J. Frog situation. Right. This is actually... Um, in This is the reboot for Michigan J. Frog. Oh, this is the gritty reboot. Yeah, yeah. This is um, the Michigan J. Frog. This, he goes on uh, American Idol or uh, X Factor or whatever it, whatever the, the, hot new, the hot new take on uh, on Entertaining America is. And mm-hmm. he he wins, but like Simon Cowell or the Simon Cowell equivalent is like it's just a frog, it's just several frogs. And everyone's like, you <laughs> why do you wait a minute? He's just a bunch of frogs. He is. <laughs> <laughs> That's just several frogs. <laughs> and yet, so in this movie, um, Simon Cowell is also uh, he's also a Cajun chef. That's yeah. just several frogs. <laughs> It's just several frogs, and I will cook them <laughs> into <laughs> their best gumbo. <laughs> he also hosts American Idol for some reason. <laughs> Maybe he's like a celebrity chef that made the, the transition to just yeah. kind of personality. Has anyone won an America's Got Talent by uh-huh. cooking? That's a great question. Because like, I feel like it basically ends up just being a singing show. Like right. There are other acts, but people usually... Don't they end up just picking, like, the singers? I feel like it's always the singers. Or, like, maybe, like, a dance troupe or an acapella or something like that. Yeah. yeah but it's, it's, it's usually musical. Mm-hmm. But, like, what if someone just came on there and just cooked some really good, just, like, some real good chops? I only, like, <sighs> chops is almost too realistic. What if they just cooked a bunch of gumbo and, like, made it for everyone? Yeah. They just made, like, a big pot of soup uh-huh. every every app and just fed it to the whole audience and it was always the best soup i love that yeah it's like everyone's everyone's you get singing. to the finals at least just because everybody wants the soup everyone's doing their best beatles covers and this guy's just like oh this is like a, a lamb risotto uh just you know i guess i made enough for everyone but i made yeah. enough for everyone um you can have it <laughs> <laughs> so uh, family hold back on the first go around i guess but uh you know if you want some soup come get some soup what can i say come get some soup it's uh it's cold out there guys you know get uh get go toasty with some soup so uh yeah soup's on i guess is what i'm saying <laughs> i guess that's what, <laughs> what i'm saying <laughs> oh this soup is amazing uh, unfortunately there is a uh, you you are uh, you are almost the best, but there is a uh, the, the singing frog who is so wonderful. He's très magnifique. <laughs> and then this is the sequel. Uh, the soup guy uh, tries to kill the frog, tries to kill Michigan J- Michigan J to put oh, in no. his, his ultimate soup. So you think he's a good guy, but he turns out to be a bad guy. Uh, Nathan, I think I'm done here. Well, um, Caldwell, you made my snow day even better. You met, yeah, this was great. I loved your tree. Um, I loved seeing you. Um, I love you. Technology's great. Mm -hmm. It's great that I can be snowed in my apartment and still make shows Mm -hmm. for the internet. Uh, And now don't go, now now fans, don't go thinking, well, wait a minute, if he could just do that, why didn't (laughs) he 
do wiki roulette last week. There's Goodbye. <laughs>